By this time, most of you know about text based editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. I am using this feature since it has been released in Adobe Premiere Pro beta version, but I haven't made any tutorial about it because I was waiting for the correct time. I was waiting when this thing is coming to the public release and when it will get more stable. So today I'm going to make a tutorial about it. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit video using text based editing process in Adobe Premiere Pro. It is pretty interesting. So if you are a beginner, if you haven't edited any video before, I think if you are using text based video editing, you can do it from today. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. As you have seen in the intro part, I have recorded a video clip and I'm going to use that clip as a reference to show you how you can use text based video editing feature in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's fire up Adobe Premiere Pro first. I've already transferred the video clip here on my computer. So let's open Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you from the very beginning how you can make a new project and how you can set up the text based editing process, right? So let's make a new project. I'm going to name it text based video editing. Then I'm going to select a folder that I'm comfortable with. I'll just select a folder here on my NAS. So this is the folder that I'm going to save my project file, right? So I'm just making a new folder name Premiere Project. Then click Create. I'll save the project file here on this folder. Now click create to make a new project, right? So this is Adobe Premiere Pro and this is the brand new workspace in Adobe Premiere Pro that they have introduced to use text-based video editing feature. If you go here on this workspace section, you can see this is the workspace that I'm going to use. So if you here on this window workspace, you can see this workspace have been introduced recently, right? So if you're using any other workspace, suppose you're using Essential, then you need to call a panel which called text to use the text based editing feature so if you're using essential panel then you have to go to window from here you have to enable text then this panel will appear you have to use this text panel to edit your video if you're using text based video editing i'm going to use this workspace text based editing and this is the project panel this is our program panel and this is the text panel right first we need to import the video clip i have already opened the folder so this is the video clip that I'm going to use. I have to just click and drag it here. I have recorded this video in HLZ format. You can see the color space is REC 2100 HLZ. So first I need to convert it. If you're using standard picture profile on your camera, then you don't need to interpret it. I'm just clicking right click here, then modify interpret footage. I have to interpret it to REC 709, then click OK. Then I'm just clicking and dragging it here on the timeline to make a new sequence. You can just make a custom sequence if you want. So this is the video that I'm going to use for text-based video editing process. If you want to edit your video using text-based video editing, then you have to first transcribe the video so that Premiere Pro know which portion you are going to delete, which portion you are going to modify, right? So all the languages are not supported yet. There are some languages that are supported currently, which is if I go here. So these are the languages, Danish, Dutch, English, French, German, Hindi, Italian, Japanese, Korean. So these are the languages that are currently supported. I am from Bangladesh and my mother tongue is Bengali. That language is not supported yet. I hope Adobe will introduce more languages pretty soon, right? So we have to wait. So first we need to transcribe the video. To transcribe the video, you have to click here. Then you can click transcribe or if you want to use this feature again and again then you can enable auto transcribe feature in adobe premiere pro if you go here in premiere pro section then you have to go settings if you're using windows then you have to go to edit then preference from here you have to go to transcription and then you have to click automatically transcribe clip then whenever you import a new clip on Adobe Premiere Pro project panel, Premiere Pro will automatically transcribe those video clips. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just canceling this one. I'll select the video here on the timeline. Then I am going here on this text panel. Then I'll click transcribe. Then Premiere Pro will transcribe the video. If you want to show the progress, then you can see it from here, right? If you click here on this section, that portion have been introduced recently. That will show any background process that is running in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can see it from here, right? 
so these are the text now we are ready to edit our video using text based editing right so first you can see there are some dots right what does it mean these dots are representing any pauses if you are keeping yourself silent in any portion of your video this portion have been indicating by these dots right so if i go here and then if i press space bar on my keyboard you can see i'm not talking here so these are the pauses by the end of this so if you want to delete the pauses then you can just click here on the dots then if you press backspace on your keyboard then those portion will be deleted again if i play it back by the end of this step, you can see that pauses is not here you can easily delete the pauses again here you can see there are some dots and you can see i am telling this line twice because i have made mistakes right if i play it back you'll see i have made a mistake by the end of this time most of you maybe know about text so here is a mistake right so how we can delete this portion again you have to click and drag to select this portion you can see here on the timeline this portion have been selected you have to just click backspace on your keyboard or you can click here on this section which is left if you click here that portion will be deleted again this is a pause i want to delete this one i can just click lift that portion will be deleted now if i press the space bar by this time most of you know about text based editing in adobe premiere pro i am using this feature since it has been released in adobe premiere pro beta version but i haven't made any tutorial about it because i was waiting for the correct time i was waiting when this thing is coming to the public release and when i'll get so here another mistake so i can just delete this portion from here to here if i click lift or if i press backspace that portion will be deleted right so if i play it back i'll get and when it will get more stable so here you can see i don't need these words i can just delete these words if i play it back public release and when it will get more stable pretty cool so right today I'm so if you're not experienced in video editing process then you can very easily trim your video using word processing technique in adobe premiere pro that is pretty cool so there are some more settings that you can check right so these are the blank spaces or the pauses if you want to disable the pauses you can just click here then the pauses will not be displayed here on this text portion right so if you again want to enable the pauses you can just click here you can click here to change the font size you can make it bigger or smaller and if you click here on this three dot you can see different settings if you want to show the speaker name you can enable it or disable it from here so that has been disabled again if you want to see the speaker name you can enable it so these settings you can just check these settings to see what that is doing you can select any portion and then you can click here on this extract button that portion will be extracted or that portion will be cut it right you can now click here and then you can just press ctrl v to paste this section so you can see that portion have been pasted out here so if i play it back now you will see it is starting from and this portion it will get more stable by this time so you can just extract any portion of your video using that feature right and you can do the same thing just by selecting the portion and you can just click which is cut or extract and then you can go here and then you can right click here click paste right that portion will be pasted here you can see that portion have been shifted so these are very easy to learn so if you are very beginner if you want to use this technique you can do that text based editing can be very very beneficial if you are editing a long form video like if you are editing podcast or anything like that then you can easily trim out or extract any part of your video very easily just by seeing the text because sometimes you don't have time to check the whole video you can just look through the text test and you can just find out where you have made the mistake you can delete that portion and then you can export it very easily so that is all that is how you can use text based editing in adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye